Uh, okay. Back to Black Panther. Okay, no, I know. It just keeps on going. Now I'm going to talk about the, the film uh, Method Chloe and, and, my, and my wife. We, we went to see it a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't done a review of it yet, so I'm going to get all three of us to talk about the film because it's going to be very long, so don't worry about this. This is short because I'm just talking about there's a phenomenon of why wh why is Black Panther big noise with records, or more importantly, why are so many black people really pushing this thing and people are just really, really pushing this thing? How did this happen? You have to remember, and back in the, you know, the 50s, 60s, whatever, we always had this after even before they had this African content, uh, consciousness, you know, Marcus Garvey was saying back to Africa movement, you know, in fact, he was the first one I ever heard uh, say that it doesn't matter where you go in the world, the darker people, doesn't matter what culture you're in, the darker people are always at the bottom, you know, he's even talking about Scandinavian people, they're at the bottom, okay? So, uh, so we had this African consciousness, and but it was a really romanticized thing, but in the 60s it became really, really big, I mean, even then I used to design my own dashikis and stuff like that, you know? Uh, um, and of course, in, in, in New York, uh, you know, uh, we had the uh, African Street Festival in Brooklyn. That was, that was, that was something else. Oops, sorry. Uh, so, so we had all, we had all of that. Uh, so, so you have this whole thing with this African consciousness, and then you have the likes of, of Dr. Uh, Dr. John Henry Clark, Dr. Dr. Ben, who's a, uh, you know, all, all, all that stuff is, is happening. So it's, it's always been the background consciousness. And of course, when you when you see all the films that we had to look at, we never really have a, a, a whole movement or, or something that every every strike can get around. Remember, this particular one comes from the comic book, um, um, the comic book sphere, if you want. Um, but remember, these folks here, um, uh, the, the the leader of this charge is like the comic book people, okay? Um, and 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 I, who knew there were so many black nerds? I mean, who knew? You know, so they're the ones that charge this. Week. Now everybody else is jumping on you. Got, you, you know, you got your uh, black Israelites. You know, you, you you know, you got your I don't know, you got your political people. You got your all kinds of people jumping on you. The, the Christians. Everybody's trying to jump on this and use it, yeah, which, which is all right. But a lot of them are naysayers, you know, which is kind of strange to me because here you have a silver lining in a cloud, and rather than mind the silver lining, people are looking at the the little you know the cloud. They're, they're deep in the cloud. This is wrong, and that's wrong. It, Yo, yo, f find your sliver of silver in this lining and, and follow that path. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say with this one. But anyway, so, so how does this happen? So um, the first thing that happened when I first, I think it was June or whenever it was last year, uh, the, 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 I didn't watch the game, but I saw the trailer. I said, whoa, and then you had the, the Run the Jewels, you know, the, the, the beautiful mu the, the music, that really, the, the music, you know, for the trailer. I'm going, oh, yeah, this is interesting. You know, and I knew right away at that moment. I said, "This is going to be a movement," because that's what then I started seeing all these reactions, and it was like amazing reactions to to, to the trailer. And then they had to push the movie back just because it come up with some happened with Spider Man and whatever. So they pushed it back, and so the logical thing was pushed back to February. You know, which is the downtime for films, um, and, and then the way the industry goes, but it's 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 Black History Month, so that makes perfect sense. Now remember, every you know, Black History Month, people get black, black people get more. You know, when I say black people, I'm actually talking about um, uh, African Americans, or I should say, people uh, descendant of chattel slavery. Now, I'm not talking about one or two generations. I'm talking way back, like my way, way, way back. You know, from from the Middle Passage, you know, to the you know to to the slavery, to the you know to to the Jim Crow to the lynchings to the civil rights, the whole thing. You know, we never have any, never have this. Very few times we have some positive thing. I mean, the, even something like uh, Cabin in the Sky, some like really great, all these uh, you know, um, cast things, all black cast, you know, white directors, was like, uh, you know, it's like, you know, it was good, but it was singing and dancing and you know, not the messages was, you know, it wasn't as big as this. Anyway, back to the point. So it didn't surprise me, you know, come February, Black History Month, the people start saying, well, yeah, it was Africa, let's wear African attire. Well, that makes sense. So, so, so why not? You know, I mean, hey, let's, let, let's do this. So now you had this, then you had this whole movement that, hey, the people's word got out, this is a positive image. You know, you have you, you, the older people, they, they you know, they, they have the Angela Bassett's and they have the Forrest Whitaker's and like that. You know, the younger people have a, what they have, you know, everybody from, but they have the, the stars, you know, the, the stellar, just incredible 
cast, you know. So it starts getting into people's consciousness and people want to support that. Of course you want to support something positive. I mean, when I first came to Africa, it's very interesting. I mean, I mean, I realized I, I, the, the, the films that they sent to Africa, there was like no black films. I mean, like, so you, if you want to go to films, yeah, right? That you, you have to, I mean, a lot of the times you have to just get to a, a, a space where, you you know, you we have a lot of... Uh, 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 videos that come or downloads or whatever have you because they don't show in the movie theater so you have to get your your blackness or someplace else so this first run movie that, that opens up worldwide at the same time it's, it's an event I mean you got it's an event okay so what am I saying so it doesn't surprise me that this whole juggernaut just started because it's 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 been brewing for a very long time so when you have a time that it really pops right then it pops. Why is there anybody surprised at this? In fact, why do we have so many naysayers? I just don't really get it. You know what I mean? It's like, enjoy what you enjoy. If you, if you can mind that silver lining, then mind the silver lining in that cloud rather than get, you know, d dealing with the, the whole, oh, they didn't do this right, this, this, that, that, that. Now remember, this film is a, is a, is a love, it's, it's, it's almost like a, it's a descendant of child slavery. It's, it's, a, it's a black American uh, uh, love letter to, to I won't say love that's not wrong thing, but you know, perspective on on or a fictionalized uh, 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 African country. But I I look at it, you know, it's closest to, to me to Thor, because you know here you have a Ragnarok, you know what I mean? You know that's out in space in some other galaxy. But here's Wakanda, right? This is it's like the same thing. You you give you, you the, the 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 father the, the father thing the, the 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 sibling thing you know if you wanted the, the cousin thing all that stuff is is there that's why I say that that when we're talking about a Wakanda we're talking about a consciousness like they say like they say in Thor uh, Ragnarok they, Thor Ragnarok say uh, um, Asgard is is not it's, it's, it's not a, a place it's the people so that's what's happening you know and what's more interesting is that. You know, you, you have this situation where you have Africans in a diaspora as well embracing this film. When it's really in Africa, it's, it's about a continent, an African consciousness as romanticized by black people from the diaspora, more specifically from, you know, descendants of child slavery in the, North, in, in, the, in the United States of North America. You see? You see? It's, it's simple. So, so for us to get people to get excited about this, it's a good thing. Enjoy the ride. Hey, why, why do we have so many naysayers? I just don't get it. You know, I just it doesn't make any sense to me. You know, and just, if you only see it one time and you say, oh, then you want to say, then, then go away. You know what I mean? Because it's going to people see it two, three, five, twenty-nine times. And like I said in another video, hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. You think you, you know one of the biggest selling DVDs of all time was was Chappelle show. You know, Dave Chappelle's you know uh, thing, and that's what made him really blow up. Was Chappelle show, but more less. Chappelle show only went so many places because you only see it so many places. But when that DVD came out, everybody could access, access it. I'm telling you, mark my words as they say. Summertime gonna come. Right when that when that DVD hits and that and that that, that what do you call that Blu-ray hits, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna keep them in contention for the whole Oscar buzz or whatever they because people looking at things different. I don't want to say Oscar, but the award season kind of thing. So. I just want to lay that out there to say this is not, it's not surprising that um, there's a, this, it becomes as a movement around Black Panther because it's, I mean, it's, it's easy to throw on a, a, an African cap or African there. It's easy. You don't have to dress up like Black Panther. You know what I mean? So you have the comic book people doing one thing, the, 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 the cosplay people doing one thing, but then you have the regular population can do another thing. Even, even yeah, hey, clothes are clothes. So, you know, here we go. I don't want to say it this way, but you know, non-black people. <laughs> Can also, you know, put on a tire. This is this made a lot of entrees into this into this phenomenon, and it is a phenomenon. And I think this, but there's going to be a problem because all these studios are going to start trying to jump on. Oh, put, his answer: we put more black people in this thing. Well, that's not what it was about. It's about a cultural kind of thing. So when these, they're just going to put more black people in the thing, or they're just going to dress it up. They're going to mess up. They're just going to mess up. I hope that hopefully there's enough uh, black directors and and, 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 and you know the, uh, uh, the whole thing you know the crews you know the, the costumers and the, and the production designers and the producers hopefully enough of them are coming through so they can have some authenticity because remember also a lot of these young folks they have a consciousness you know they're, they're, so that's what we're, we're talking about a little message for me T for the Patterson's taking the trench to bed letting you know what I only suspect.
about Wakanda.